months from today to go until Christmas. Gosh. Uh, has it come early, do you think? Well, it has come early uh, in John Lewis in Oxford Street. They're opening their Christmas shop to the public later on today. But Alice was invited in for an exclusive look round. I'm very jealous. You're I'm there very on your jealous. own. Incredible. Oh. Oh, well, <laughs> I thought I'd be here on my own because it opened at 10 o'clock this morning. It's jammed with customers preparing for Christmas. Look, it may all look a little bit different. The table settings here, maximum of six, of course, but actually it's feeling, I don't know, if maybe it's the gloom and doom that's surrounding us, but it's feeling a little bit more beautiful than ever, I know. Believe me, there's going to be a bauble that breaks before the end of this <laughs> item, I can tell you. Look at the kitsch that's here. Look at this, Ruth. You're definitely going to want this bauble. This is predicted to be a bestseller here. What's really funny is that already sales of Christmas decorations are 232% up on this time last year, online of course at the moment. Sales of Christmas cards have doubled on this time last year. We want to celebrate Christmas. We want to show people that we're here. It's all absolutely gorgeous. It may be more curated, sorry, trying to stay two minutes, or two meters away from everybody is quite difficult. Um, there are different touches, so the NHS bauble which will be sending 25% of profits to the NHS. And then what's also different is we might not be able to be so spontaneous dropping in on our neighbours. We are going to be showing our neighbours that we are here. So one big prediction is that we're going to have massive Christmas lights outside our, our homes. There's a lot more careful love. So we're going to be selling, uh, John Lewis, they sell this Fukushima, so a fat quarter of material so you can wrap your presents in material. Um, it's just a little bit more sort of organic, a little bit more caring, a little bit more curated. Of course, the board games are going to be here, the traditional and maybe something a little bit new. And check this out. Oh, come quick through the Christmas trees, Sam. Quick through the Christmas trees. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> check this out, Ruth. I'm going to put in an order. No, Eamon, you're going to love this. Look at this. It plays music. Oh, no. Great it's been idea. actually turning the volume up could with the you, remote could control. You, could you put my name down and against one there? <laughs> well, I could if... What? Yes? £850. We'll, what? Go, we'll go halfers on it. <laughs> Ruth and my name on it. OK, let's go halves. Just to wind Ruth up. Yeah, oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> the staff keep turning it off and I keep finding the remote control and turning it on again. Christmas has started! Yay! Yes, Good. <laughs> I think it's nice to see some sparkle and Christmas cheer and get us in the mood. Alice, thank you very much and thank you, John Lewis, for letting us have a preview of the Christmas shop. Now, I want to talk to a lady called Gemma Corelli. Correct. OK, yeah. so Gemma, you think I, you know, I love Christmas. You think I'm Mrs Christmas. No, but Gemma, Gemma does it the right way. She's obsessed. But no, she does it the right way. She's organised, I would say, because... Um, hiya, Gemma. As I understand, you've already bought and wrapped up... up uh, how many presents? Uh, have you done them all yet, Gemma? Uh, I've not done all of them, but I've done some at the moment. I've just done my sons at the moment, so not all of them. When do you start then, Gemma? When do you start getting into the Christmas mood and getting organised, writing your lists? Um, I normally start in March. Um, I wait for my son's birthday to be over in March. I get it out of the way and then I start from there. I go Christmas crazy for March. Yeah, but the key is organisation, isn't it? Because I, I, year after year, I'm proven right on this, if you haven't started, if you're not into your lists and things by Halloween, by the end of October, it is a struggle. Yeah, definitely. I definitely like to get everything done and organised, and especially with how this year's been sort of being restricted from going out to the shop. So it's nice to have everything done early and prepared. Yeah, and uh, I always think I get prepared, Gemma, but then I always leave the wrapping till last, and it always takes longer than I think. How many presents have you already wrapped? Um, I've wrapped just over 50 at the moment, and I've probably got another 200 or so to go. Wow. That is a lot of wrapping. And what You're will you very be popular? What do you normally do? Yeah, what do you normally do on Christmas Day? And obviously it's going to be very different this year. How do you normally celebrate it? So normally for the last couple of years, I have family around, parents, siblings, and all the kids. So it's normally quite a few of us. Um, quite hectic, busy day, as you can imagine. 
lots of dinner, you know, prezzed, stuff like that. So this year it's definitely going to be a lot more quieter as the restrictions are only at six. But we're just going to do what we can to make the best of the situation. We just, I think we all need to remember that we're doing this for a reason and it is to protect our loved ones. So if it has to be a bit quieter this year, then, then so be it for me. And that, that's a good message, mm. Gemma. That's what it's all about. Because I was thinking today from a very practical point of view, because of these household limitations, will people still be wanting big birds? You know, in regards to turkeys and things, will they still want if it's six and less mm, there? Well, maybe slightly smaller, but you still get a biggish bird because then you can use it, don't you, Boxing Day? You get and two small soup. ones. You could. Uh, listen, Gemma, we wish you a very Merry Christmas early. Let us be the first to wish you Merry Christmas. You've put us all to shame with your organisation, I have to well say. Done. Well, well done. Well done, Gemma. Got a crack. Have a good Thank time. you very much indeed. But anyway, we say goodbye to Gemma because we're going to speak to the big man himself. Uh, we're going to the North Pole. And uh, here, if we're right, if we've got the connection right, working away with all his helpers, we've got Santa. Yeah, we absolutely. Have. Hello, <laughs> Father Christmas. <laughs> oh, the connection's not great to the North Pole, but we'll keep going. Hopefully we'll be able to hear you, Santa. Um, Santa, how are you and the elves doing? Um, do you have to social distance? You know, they're working away, making all the toys for the children. How is that working out for you all? Well, the elves have had to do social distancing, so things are taking a little bit longer, but they've all got their sanitizer, if you can see that, yeah. to keep their hands nice and clean. Uh, but yes, we're still on schedule. Things are still looking good this end for Christmas. And when you come down the chimney, Santa, um, when you come out in, in people's sitting rooms and living rooms, um, will you have to be wearing a mask? Well, this depends on what the world's scientists advised me at the time. I mean, luckily enough, when I'm coming doing the deliveries, everyone's asleep in bed, so they're out of the way. But I'll be doing everything uh, COVID safe to make sure that everybody gets uh, lots of lovely gifts this Christmas. And would you like the children to get their Christmas lists and letters to you a little bit earlier, perhaps this year, if your things are taking a bit longer? Well, I think what children need to bear in mind this year, because everything's taking a little bit longer, your wish lists need to be a little bit shorter. Yes. So you might not get everything on your wish list, but it's not because you've been naughty. It's just making things safe for the elves, you see. Um, but uh, yes, always send me a, a letter and tell me what you'd like and, uh, you know, and and be as good as you possibly can be. I mean, have, have you been good so far this year? I've well, been very... I'm always very good, Santa, always. I know you are. I'm not about yeah. um... <laughs> Maybe not so much. Santa, is there a message that you would like to give children watching today um, as to what to expect for Christmas this year? Because... It's often, my, my mother and father used to say to me, it's not all about just wanting presents, is it? Not at all. What I would say, it's not what's under the tree, it's who's around the tree. And, of course, grown-ups and parents who are doing the Christmas lunch and everything, it's not about the presents, it's about their presence. So, you know, it's, it's not... It's not just about getting gifts, it's about sharing happiness. And I have a funny feeling that with the way things are at the moment, that people are going to make Christmas even more special, yeah. especially with loved ones. Thank Let's you, Father so. Christmas. Thank you. You keep safe and well, and we'll see you in three months' time. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> yes, appreciate it. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>